Pathfinder is a visual analysis technique for exploring paths in multivariate graphs. Networks with thousands of nodes and edges cannot be visualized as a whole due to clutter. Large node link diagrams, for example, commonly look like the infamous giant hairball. One approach to address the scale problem is to query networks. Instead of visualizing everything, we visualize a subset of a large graph that matches a query. In this video, we introduce Pathfinder, a tool that allows you to query a network for path. Pathfinder lets users specify two nodes and automatically find short path connecting these nodes. Here we look for path connecting the highlighted nodes in this graph. Pathfinder will find the two paths and show only the nodes and edges that are relevant to the query. In Pathfinder, we show the path in a ranked list. The linear layout of each path allows us to visualize rich attributes for the nodes. We can also derive a score from a path and update the ranking based on these scores. We now demonstrate Pathfinder on a co-author network. First, we explore path connecting Hans Peter Pfister with Ben Schneiderman. We run a query that returns all paths of length 4 or shorter. The resulting paths are shown in multiple views. The main view is the list view, while the topology of the nodes in these paths is shown to its right. All views support linking and brushing for path, nodes and sets. The list view shows a list of paths and information about their attributes such as the number of papers an author has published or the degree of the node in the network. We also show how many papers two authors have written together in two venues, TVCG and CHI. Thicker lines indicate more co-authored publications. We consider these papers to be sets connecting authors. We can reveal the individual publications on demand. Let's take a closer look at the topology view. By default, we see the network of authors that are on the active page of the path list. But we can also show all nodes and connections in the result set. We can zoom and pan to navigate in the graph. The statistics view shows data such as the number of path and edges in the result set. It also lists the authors and papers ranked by how often they occur in the path. We can see that Hans-Peter Pfister and Ben Schneiderman are present in all paths. But Jean-Daniel Fekete and Catherine Prison are also present in many paths. The current result set contains over a hundred paths, which is quite large. To reduce the number of paths, we can refine queries. This can be done in the advanced query interface. For example, we can reduce the results to path where Jean-Daniel Fekete comes before Catherine Blaison. Or exclude those paths. Basic query refinements like including or excluding a node can be made from any view. For example, let's exclude Paul André. A key aspect of identifying important paths in large path lists is ranking. By default, paths are ranked by length, which is shown in this rank column. We can change the scores driving the ranking in the rank column. There are various options to rank paths. We provide several predefined scores, but users can also write their own scoring function. Let's rank path by the average number of connecting publications. This will reveal path with authors that collaborate frequently. The list reflects the new order driven by the average connection strength. The scores for each path are displayed as bars in the column. Currently, all publications of a path are considered for ranking. But we can also choose to consider only TVCG papers or only CHI papers. We can also rank all paths containing a specific author or paper at the top. Pathfinder also helps users when comparing path. By default, paths are aligned by a selected pivot node. The path list can also be laid out such that multiple occurrences of the same node are placed in a single column, if possible. This makes it easy to explore variations of path. 
a user can select the reference path for comparison. This path is then highlighted and all other paths use colored icons to show whether or not their nodes and sets are shared. When the comparison mode is active, the color coding used for sets and attributes is disabled to make the colored icons pop out. Finally, we can also use rankings to identify the path most similar or dissimilar to the reference path. All scoring functions can also be applied relative to the reference path. Let's rank by path similarity with respect to average citations. We see the reference path at the top, followed by the paths that are most similar considering the average number of citations. Pathfinder is a general purpose path visualization technique. Here we show Pathfinder for a biological network that models interactions of genes and metabolites. For this dataset, we treat biological pathways as sets. As attributes, we map copy number variation and gene expression datasets to the nodes. By default, we show all the data aggregated into a single box plot. On demand, however, we can reveal the groupings of the samples. This completes our tour of Pathfinder. Thank you for watching our video.